we with the boy Cascadia Vintage going to Snoqualmie Falls, aka Twin Peaks, and it is his first time, so we're gonna get some footy, and I have all of these shirts I'm gonna take a sick picture with, so let's go. y'all i'm on the way down to portland right now i was at the bins from like 10 until 2 and there was one clothing rotation one clothing rotation it was super slow pretty bad i did get a few cool things one of them already sold i got some trip pants i'll show you guys really quick i'm hitting like two or three retail stores like goodwills or just random thrifts on my way down to portland and i think i'm going to be hitting the bins on sunday it's friday right now so i'll get footage if i find anything like that but i'm probably going to mix this in with i went to twin peaks and got some footage with my homie andy cascadia vintage and then i'm going to be going to cannon beach with some friends this weekend so i might throw some of that stuff in here it might be like a lighter like trip to the bins thrift like vlog kind of style video but i'll try to get some more clips i'm gonna go into this thrift i found a 1987 acdc shirt one time here and i sold it for i think 170 or something so this is the same goodwill so we're about to run up in it see if we can get anything i'm gonna show you what i got from the bins all right so here's some pickups this one sold it's really thrashed it has a lot of paint on it just some like random vintage striped tee some weird graphic and yeah i sold this for 18 shipped with all the paint stains and everything but yeah i got this this is one of those color changing shirts it's single stitched on a delta blank the color changes with heat so if you put like a hair dryer on it it would like change so it's kind of cool san francisco joint modern air max shirt trip pants best things i found size 13 trip nyc pants not that crazy but probably at least still like 50 60 bucks y2k adidas shirts kids mariners jersey fleetwood mac tour shirt from 2018 and then a 2006 red hot chili peppers that's everything i got from the bins and i was there for like four hours it was really bad So I guess the only thing I find in Goodwill anymore is Stone Cold shirts. Because the last time I went to Rex, I found a Stone Cold shirt. Just found a Stone Cold shirt, so not complaining. So yeah, a quick little stop. <laughs> and we got the basically dead stock Steve Austin tee. This is crazy. 16 bucks for both of these. This one's bootleg, but it's so sick. I've never seen this tag before. It's really sick, but it's a bootleg, but I still think I could get like probably 40 or 50 for it. It's just so crazy. And then this, not even sure, but my last Steve Austin that was kind of similar, I sold for like 85, so crazy. Spot number two, let's go. Let's keep it rolling. All right, y'all, second store was a success. So I'll show you guys what I got. So I got three things from this last store. This jacket is so nice. It's super heavy, like made in USA, super quality. It's like the material of like a Carhartt jacket, but it's this brand called Key. And yeah, this is like my favorite color. It's like a teal. So I got this for myself for the winter. It was four bucks. I got two vintage Dallas Cowboys crewnecks. This one's like not that cool. This one's really cool though. This one's dated 1990. 
and this one was seven bucks and this one was nine and this was four but everything was half off today which i didn't realize so i was kind of not stoked to pay up for these but i really like them so i was like i might as well get them i know i'd be able to sell this for like 30 bucks or something but yeah when she rang me out it was 10 bucks for everything so very stoked all right we got one of my favorite thrifts I might hit one more after this, but this might be the last one. I've been on a roll though. I've been doing really well. So let's get inside and see what they got. And we out of there with a sack of stuff. Spent $7.50. Nothing crazy. Probably the coolest thing was the Adidas front and back hit. Pull it out. Yeah, right here. So this guy's made in USA, so that's kind of sick. Front and back, trefoil logo. So that was dope. That was like a dollar. And yeah, some good basic filler stuff. Okay. Okay, so last stop for today's done. I got four pieces at that last shop and it was 12 bucks for all of them. So this is like a Harley T. I just love the pinup on the back. I definitely think I'll be able to get like 20 bucks for this on Depop just because of the back print. I got this 90s Disneyland. It's embroidered, like spell out, pretty good condition, size medium, I think. So I'll probably still be able to get like 20 bucks for this on Depop. This, I have like a white version of this, but it's super thrashed up, but it's like a mesh nike white tag so 90s i think i also should be able to get like 20 bucks for this on depop and then last but not least i almost left this just because it's a double xl it's really big it's also really clean but it's this like dockers 2xl long sleeve polo but the color blocking on it is crazy look at this sleeve so when you flip this sleeve it's just crazy so i think i should be able to get maybe like 25 for it on depop maybe 20 but basically everything i was like i'd probably get 20 bucks so like a 60 dollars profit or so and that's it for today. So let's see if I get any bins finds this weekend. Okay, so I just found probably the best singular item i've ever found at a goodwill price point wise for how much it sells for and also just because i personally like it so i'm not going to be keeping it though i'm going to be selling it but yeah shout out portland goodwill because this is crazy So I was just at Hollywood Vintage in Portland. Honestly, if you guys are in the Portland area or you roll through, you need to hit it up. It is so sick. I got four things for 81 bucks, I think. And Sydney from Lucky Match Vintage has a booth there. So you should definitely check it out. But yeah, big come ups. Oh, YouTuber. <laughs> just caught this off of a friend for an absolute steal absolute steal yeah this one probably gonna stay in the personal for a little bit but i'd be willing to let it go at the right price but absolute steal we made a trade and i got this morris u shirt also it's super thrashed very sick it looks really awesome on me
All right, I am back home, and this is everything I got from Friday and Saturday. I went to bins, thrift stores, vintage shops, and I did a buyout from a friend. So this is everything I got in those two days. We got some heat in here, definitely some bangers. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a haul pickup video. I showed off most of it already, but I'll just show off some of my favorite pieces. Also have this guy hanging up in my room right now. So this was part of a trade that I did with a friend. And yeah, this one is crazy. As you guys saw in the clips, I found a Metallica like thrashed tank and they wanted it so bad that they traded it for this personal more CT. It's paper thin, super, super thrashed up. Like there's a big hole in the armpit, but it fits me like perfectly. And it's definitely a personal, I'll probably honestly just hang it up. I might wear it like once or twice, but it's just gonna be like a wall piece. And this over here, dude, I got this in the mail. This is some heat, front and back print, all over print skull, single stitched. Yeah, that tee's crazy. I'm gonna pull off a really sick fit in this tee. And then it might be for sale on my Depop, but I'm gonna charge up on this guy a little bit because it's so crazy. Yo, okay, one of the things I will not show off in the haul portion of the video is going to be this because I sold it. You'll see in a previous clip that I cop this from a vintage store for 12 bucks and no tax, so 12 bucks. It is chopped, the sleeves are gone. Also, it is chopped right here, but it is front and back print. It's an all over print USA Thunder. These shirts are going crazy lately. I saw this one with sleeves and like just in good condition, going for like 75 to like 100 plus. So I thought 12 bucks was a good gamble and I put it on Depop for 55 shipped and I actually had someone on Instagram hit me up for it and said would you do less and I took 45 ship for it so good little like 30 so dollar profit on that all right also sold this guy before I could get it in the haul portion of the video it's this Metallica long sleeve on a giant blank size XL I sold this on Instagram for 80 bucks shipped so this one is going out so let's be honest would you get with the hot mama van holton's hot and spicy pickle <laughs> so cascadia vintage and i are on lunch right now this is my one very sick find at the bins this morning it's a long came poly movie promo tee from 2004 the last one on ebay sold for 100 bucks so really stoked on that other stuff's at the bins i'll show you when we get back but for right now i think cascadia is going to do something up Gotta pour one out for the homies. That hot mama pickle juice. To all the bin spines that were never found. What's up? Ah oh, shit, here we go again. And we are doing the haul portion of the video. I'm gonna get right into it. Some of this stuff I already showed you guys and talked about, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. Let's just get right into it. The first piece, I actually already sold this. It's this Betty Boop, like really amazing, heart encrusted 1985 crew neck sweatshirt. It fits like an extra small, I think it's like a kid's, but I sold it for 40 shipped and it's definitely an amazing piece. If this was like men's, if this was my size, I'd definitely keep it, it's super badass. This is actually the first Betty Boop piece that I found, so this was really cool. Next up, we got this Disney joint. 
probably late 90s it's on the disney store tag they're all posted up very very dope next we got this like stacked logos kind of all over print ish long sleeve thor dirt bike riding long sleeve i just like these and they sell pretty well on depop so i always pick them up if i find them we got this fbi academy vintage t single stitched on an onita blank right there really dope this one is from 2016 but it's still super sick it's this like mountain dew promo and it's when pitch black i think yeah pitch black and baja blast were like you had to vote which one you wanted and yeah baja blast obviously reigns supreme but still a really cool tee even though it's newer this one ipod so the guy next to me this like older dude next to me picked this and he was looking at it for a second and he was like huh that's kind of funny and he like threw it to the side and i thought it was an ipod shirt like i thought it was the ipod shirt that says ipod and it has the little ipod like right when ipods first came out and i was like like I was freaking out and yeah, it was an iPod shirt and it's even on a spoofs tag, I think it says spoofs. So yeah, this was kind of funny, but I picked it up. Just a cool Australia graphic t-shirt. I just really love the colors, kind of like art style, very cool. Got this 1996 Olympic Games Atlanta tee on a champion blank size XL. Pulled this out the bins. When the going gets tough, the tough use duct tape. This was actually mail from Lucky Match Vintage, so shout out Sydney, and I got this in the mail. I saw it at her booth in Hollywood Vintage down in Portland, but I didn't pick it up for some reason, and then I regretted it, so I messaged her, and yeah, she sold it to me, shipped it up to me, so it has a ton of little holes in it. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it has a ton of little holes in it. I think the distressing makes it really cool, so... I'm actually, I bought this for a TikTok, so it's kind of embarrassing. Follow me on TikTok, Loveless Vintage. I've been trying to use it more. Got these trip pants that I already showed off a little bit. Got these at the bins. Just the gothy trip pants. Easy, like at least like 50 or so bucks on Depop. Got this live in the thrift. Cowboys, navy blue crew neck, vintage sweater. This front and back print made in USA Adidas tee. This one's cool. I haven't tested it out yet, but these are those thermal color shirts that change if you put like a blow dryer to it. Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to test it out. Oh yeah, it totally works. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. See how it's getting like light blue? Got a Sydney, Australia graphic tee. Got this at the bins, just love the graphic. This one is really cool. It reminds me of a shirt I had recently that I sold, but it's a tank top. It's like this all over print. I just love the like neon print. This one I had so many people ask me about if it was a bigger size and I think it's a small, it's a small, it's so annoying. This Miley Cyrus tour shirt from 2009, 2009, dude. It's so sick. If this was like a larger XL, like, people would probably freak out about it, but it's a small. I got a ton of Club Med shirts. I think I got like 10 Club Med shirts. They were all sick enough I thought to grab. Like the graphics were just really cool, Club Med. This one too, like just love the primary color graphics. And these were all at bins, so I paid like 50 cents or something for them, so I picked them up. So the Club Med tees and this tee I found in the same bin as the Amazing Art tee, my best bins find I probably ever had. And this was also like right under that tee that I found. It's another art tee just like an Australian art tee. I honestly haven't looked up the artist or anything. There's three artists listed on here, but Heart of My People, Australian Aboriginal art. It's just really awesome, the graphic and everything, single stitched. This is a personal for winter and I think it was, okay, so it was marked 4.99, but everything was half off. So I got this for $2 and it's a made in USA key jacket. It really reminds me of like a Carhartt jacket. It's really thick, it has a hood and everything. And yeah, this is like my favorite color. So this is honestly just gonna be my like warm, cozy jacket in the winter. And it was $2. This is a bootleg Nike jacket. You guys saw it in the thrift. Nike spell out here, big swoosh on the back. Love this tag. This tag is so sick. Still got the tags on it. Nike, just do it bootleg. This one is the grail, stone cold shirt. Steve Austin, professional hardcore wrestler, fire. So sick. So these are from a buyout I did with my friend you guys saw. This is that Everclear tee, front and back print. I love that it says disco, still sucks. Really sick. This is a Atlanta 1996 Olympics tee. I love that it's pink though, and it's fully embroidered. Really, really sick. This is a 1990 Rush Tour tee. I love the graphic on this so much. I think it's Presto, yeah, Presto. So it's got like the bunnies and stuff, like magician stuff. I just love the graphic on this one. Really, really cool. Got an 80s. 
Heather Gray, like Mickey, Disney crew neck. My mom actually told me when I showed this to her, she was like, I had this exact same crew neck when I was like younger. So that's really funny. I got two fish shirts. Got this one, front and back print, summer 1999 on a giant blank right here. And then I got this one, no tag, but it is a 98 fall tour shirt. Both fish, they're a band. Also bought this off of her, this Mo Betta button down shirt. So sick. I think it's Garth Brooks wore these. Some country musician wore these and made them really popular. So they go for a decent amount. Like. I think like 30 to 60 plus dollars, it depends, but this one's really cool. This was a more recent bins find. I think this was from last week and it was two days after I found this next tee coming up, which is that insane art tee. I found this, it is a Vincent Van Gogh art tee and I haven't looked up what piece of art this is, but it looks like it's a hummingbird or some type of bird in like grass. It's on the Vincent van Gogh museum tag in Amsterdam, size large. It has a little hit on the back and it's pretty distressed, collar's distressed, has a few little holes. Graphic is super faded. I saw vintage van Gogh shirts going anywhere from like 50 to 100 plus. So yeah, I think that I'll get a decent amount for this. And I'm really, really stoked that I got like two RTs really close to each other because they're really popping off right now. And this is the next one, my best bins find I've had to date and it's such a beautiful shirt like so crazy roy lichtenstein girl with hair ribbon 1965 is when the art piece is dated it's a museum tee probably from like the early 90s here's the tag size xl single stitched so there's only one of this exact one it's on depop for 250 and it's a large and honestly this being an XL fits like a large so I'm imagining theirs probably fits like a medium so obviously my size is probably more desirable so I had a ton of offers for like I had some offers for like 80 or 100 I had some offers for like two I think I had a 250 dollar offer but I'd honestly rather just hold on to this this is something that like I really like I don't think I'd ever wear this but my ex that I dated when I was like 18 to 20 loved Roy's work and we went to pop art exhibits together and like I've known about his work for a long time so it's just something that I'd rather honestly hold on to and like hang up and then when the right buyer comes along for the right price I'm totally willing to sell it but it's not something I'm like in a rush to sell at all like I know how unique and amazing it is so it's not really going anywhere fast unless someone comes with an amazing offer but crazy this is another crazy one that i actually did a trade with my friends so the shirt i'm wearing i traded them for a metallica reload cropped like tank top shirt that i got at a vintage store we were at the same vintage store i saw it before them and i think it was like 28 bucks or 32 bucks or something if it wouldn't have been chopped that's a shirt that goes for like 85 to 100 plus so i picked it up because i thought at least chopped i could get like 60 or so for it they really, really wanted it and they were willing to make a trade. So I went back to their apartment and they traded me this crazy paper thin, like thrashed Morrissey CT. It's amazing. It has like a big hole right here, but I love it. And like, I think it's late eighties. The tag is like definitely an eighties tag. So it's a crazy grail. Like if I were to price this, if this was like in a vintage shop, I honestly think they wouldn't price it for anything less than like 300, even with the damage and stuff. So. Shout out Jesse, because that was a crazy trade. They also had this hanging up in their closet and they were offering to trade it for the Metallica tee that I traded for this shirt. And I was like, all right, but like how much would you want if I wanted to buy that shirt? And yeah, they sold it to me for a deal, a deal. It is this Halloween booby promo tee, the night he came home. Like this tee is crazy. It's on a late 90s maybe early 2000s triple a blank it's like more of like a silvery nice like one so i'm honestly thinking it's late 90s no date stamp or anything I've seen some from like 98 or whenever the collector's edition came out which is this is the restored collector's edition so i'll have to look it up but i think it's late 90s or early 2000s but this is honestly like probably 150 to 200 dollar tee now like with the way the market is with horror tees so also going to be hanging on to this might go into the personal for a little bit not in a rush to get rid of it but just a crazy come up from a friend these are also from that vintage store picked up this mighty ducks like big print nothing on the back but it's a starter joint size large has some distressing i couldn't even find this exact one online but i found one like it and it was like an all-over print and they were going for like 80 to 100 and i think it was in this vintage store for like 
$28 or something. So I picked it up, thought I'd at least be able to double my money on it. Another vintage store pickup, you know, movie tees are popping off right now. That along came Polly that I had that I showed you guys earlier in the video. I sold it for a hundred bucks. So movie tees are popping off, even like early mid 2000s ones. So this is a meet the Fokker shirt. It is tie dyed. It definitely did not come tie dyed. I saw non tie dyed versions of these selling for like 80 or so. So I'm trying to get kind of close to that but I think this was $14 at that vintage store. So really came up. And this is the last pickup from that vintage store that I got. It is a My Chemical Romance shirt. And I believe it's before the Black Parade era. I'm almost positive it is. It's a AAA tag, not like the Halloween tee. It's definitely like a probably mid 2000s AAA tag, but still a really, really good pickup. I think this was like 15 or 16 bucks. So this is also one I'm probably just gonna hold on to. I'm also using it for a TikTok. Back to some bins finds. We have this Walk the Solar System tee I got like two weeks ago or something. I just love the graphic on it. Really, really cool. It's like a late 90s shirt. Got a Halo 3 shirt. Shout out Cascadia Vintage. Did not want it. Halo 3 video game promo shirt. Nothing on the back or anything, but probably like an easy $20 for the shirt. Like video game tees are just kind of popping off, especially Halo tees for some reason right now. Got this cool ass, still bad to the bone, Washington Huskies tee. This is crazy. This is a 70s Oakland Raiders like baseball tee. Front graphic here, like look how old that logo looks. Like look at that fool super sick it's on this tag right here it's a russell athletics size medium there's the tag right there and yeah this was found at bins absolutely crazy not even sure what this guy's worth i'm imagining like maybe 50 or more probably more but I haven't really looked this one up yet another bins find just a crazy color blocked like zip up coat i wish it didn't have this like weird gel stuff here but i think i can get it off but this on depop would honestly do pretty well probably at least like 30 bucks this is cute it's like a 90s like boot shirt i think someone made this at home it's like a halloween shirt but it just reminded me of my childhood and the way my mom used to decorate halloween so i wanted to throw it in the video it's just really cute another depop banger i'm telling y'all this on depop like probably 25 30 bucks at least like these grandma sweaters like and it's puffy ink it's really sick honestly and it's definitely like late 80s early 90s this Hanes blank right here this i'm super bummed about because a kid at bins got the matching shorts and he did not want to sell them or trade them to me so it's all good but i still picked up the crop top it's this like washington i think yeah polesville washington it's so weird because it's like parrots and watermelon and polesville washington i'm pretty sure it's not like parrots or watermelon but still really cool like single stitch 90s like crop top like love the back graphic these i think are kids but i think i might be able to fit them to model them but they're, they're just these crazy like gecko hawaiian inspired like shorts so this is the first grateful dead tea i've ever found thrifting i've like never even found reprints or anything i don't know what it is i always see people finding grateful dead stuff i've never found it so this is my first grateful dead piece it is from 2005 nothing crazy at all but still just really cool to find in bins so nothing crazy i'm not even sure what these are worth like it's pretty basic but Still a really cool piece. This one is just like a comedy crew neck I wanted to throw on. It says, everyone is born right-handed, only the gifted overcome it. So obviously talking about left-handed people, I am right-handed, so this doesn't apply to me, but I thought it was funny. Also another Depop banger, Big Dog stuff is honestly going off a little bit right now. And this one, it's so sick because it's like a men's size and you would think with the graphic, it says like being perfect isn't as easy as I make it look. And it's like glittery ink print. I don't know, there's just like, for some reason, I, th I just like thought it would be like a women's, but it's definitely like a men's shirt, which is super badass. I could definitely see myself rocking this. It's so sick. Got this Y2K Nike, like kind of baby tee. Just love that it's like mint green ringers, the little check and everything. Got this USPS shirt. Shout out my mom who works for the postal service. It's the Priory Mail flat rate boxes, like promo tee. Pretty sick. I was seeing people sell these for like 20 bucks or whatever. Found it at Ben's, thought I'd pick it up. Got some 80s tees. I had like four or five other ones but I sold them already. But these are some other ones that made it in. This one, the back print on this one is really sick. The choice for me, drug free, really sick. This one I found the other day, the meat market bar. And it says in the mood for love. I honestly tried this on for some V-pop pictures and it like fit me really well as a crop and it's like really cute. So I don't know, I might sport this a little bit. It's very sick. And then the last 80s tee is sharing our world Oasis Day Camp 89. I just really like the graphic, it's super soft. And then the last thing I got is a pair of size 40. These are so heavy. I think they're honestly like probably six pounds or something. 
size 40 Ben Davis overalls. Ben Davis, good brand to look for, especially the made in USA stuff. This isn't vintage, but still I saw even the bigger sizes of overalls on eBay going for like, I think 60 or 70, like new. So I thought that at least I could probably get 40 or so for these used. They're probably gonna suck to ship, but pirate ship is definitely my best friend when it comes to like big and heavy things. That is everything I got from bins and thrifting the past like two or so weeks. Most of the stuff you saw in this video might be wholesale to Flosif from Not Most People before you get a chance to DM me about it. I've kind of been his plug recently and he's been buying stuff from me like every week. So a lot of my stuff prior to us is going to him and then Depop obviously, but if you saw anything you like, hit me up on Instagram, loveless.vintage. Hit me up on Depop, lovelessvtg. Also follow me on TikTok. I'm trying to do some TikToks, some thrifting content, stuff like that, like funner, more light stuff. So Loveless Vintage on TikTok also. If you like the videos I make and stuff, please sub to the channel too. I appreciate all you guys being here. More bins content, more thrift content coming soon. This is Jackson with Loveless Vintage. Peace out.